stem cell is a specialized cell that can differentiate into all kinds of cells or tissues in the body. Therefore, the discovery of the embryonic stem cell provides us the opportunity to use this kind of stem cell to treat a patient, especially patients with the degenerative diseases or the traumatic organ injury. The RIRA Center of Excellence for Stem Cell Research, together with Division of Infertility and Reproductive Biology and Division of Hematology, Department of Medicine, Sirilat Hospital, successfully developed a new methodology for deriving embryonic stem cell from human embryo. This technique is later referred to as Minimized Trophoblast Cell Proliferation Technique, or MTP. The MTP-derived human embryonic stem cell line could be used as a potential source of therapy therapeutic purposes for a wide range of diseases caused by tissue degeneration. The blastocyst is the stage of the embryo that about five to six days after fertilization. And uh, the blastocyst is the fetus or the embryo that has many, many cells. So that there are two kinds of the cell. One is developed to be the placenta and the one developed to the fetus. And the part of the fetus, they have a lot of stem cells that we can use for humans in the future. Because the blastocyst is the part of the human, so we have to have a permission from the human research protection unit that we can use the human part to study. If they're not allowed, we cannot use that. And also, we have to make a permission from the mother and the father of the embryo that the embryo normally are abnormal fertilization that we cannot use for human. So that we ask for them to give us the abnormal embryo to study and we can get the stem cell from them. Then I decided we need a new methodology to get a stem cell line because we cannot get the embryo very often. It takes a year to develop a new methodology we call uh, Minimizing Trophobot Cell Proliferation or MTP. This methodology is just quite similar to the, the MID. We are separate the ICM cell by MID technique. After that, we culture them on the feeder free. During the first three days, we found that feeder free system will prevent uh, non stem cell proliferation. That means non stem cell start to die. And only stem cell can form the outgrowth. And after we got the MTP technique, we tried different kind of the embryo, and we got SLI from urban embryos, which is about 73% success rate. Stem cell therapy holds a great promise in regenerative medicine. However, HLA matching between transplanted stem cell and patient is required to prevent graft rejection. HLA is antigens exported from within the cell to cell surface. Each person has a unique HLA pattern. In order to do a stem cell transplantation, we need to tighten the so-called HLA. HLA is the transplant antigen that are very important in order to get the engraftment or rejection. Therefore, uh, in, in patients with the such as hematologic disease or so, who need stem cell therapy, in order to uh, use the stem cell, we have to tie the uh, HLA. In that case, we have to collect a lot, a number of stem cells in the bank and tied the SLA and when we have patients we select the most compatible one to use for transplant to avoid the problem of immunologic reaction. In Thailand, we estimate we need only 140 to 150 cell line, which is have different HLA type. That can cover all of the Thai population. And by using that number, I mean 140 to 150 cell line, we need only 200, 220 embryo only. And if we have enough embryo, that means we can finish maybe in one year.